Great. So Google Free Zone is a service, sorry, Free Zone powered by Google uh, is a service which has just been introduced by ATA in South Africa. Um, and it gives uh, users who have otherwise not been able to access the internet affordably um, access to search, the first page of search results for free, as well as Gmail and G Plus from their browsers on their mobile phones. Um, so for a moment, think about what it's like for users who don't have internet access today. Um, they are excluded from many of the wonderful things which we can do and take for granted on the internet, which really make a real meaningful difference to people's lives. Um, so if they want to get access to the internet, they need to jump through quite a few hurdles. Um, they need to get access to a phone, which is internet enabled, either by buying one or maybe getting an old hand-me-down, and they need to pay for the data access. But imagine a user who is not very knowledgeable, has learned about the internet and wants to understand more. Uh, they'll go out, they'll buy a phone, maybe a, something like this, a Nokia X2, 600 Rand phone, or a, or a smaller, cheaper phone, even with you know, internet enabled phones as little as 400 Rand today. Or maybe it's even a hand-me-down phone, which is essentially free. Um, they top it up with some airtime, maybe 5 Rand, and they tentatively click, click the internet icon and give it a try. Um, at first it's very confusing, there's a lot of links which they don't understand, but they persevere because they're excited to learn and try. And eventually they get to some news websites or some entertainment sites, or maybe some social sites, and they start using it. But before they know what's happened to them, their airtimes will be used up. And I imagine that uses disappointment. And imagine their fear to explore the internet further. Right? Because now they have been trained to believe that the internet is very expensive. Because during that session they were charged at the maximum possible data rates in the country. And of course there are cheaper ways to access the internet if you buy bundles, but they don't know that up front. So what FreeZone does is it gives those users access to a very, very, very big part of the internet through the mobile web, uh, on mobile browsers, for free. And they can then do the things which they care about uh, online. So that's searching the entire internet through Google Search Index and accessing and starting to explore the vast amounts of information uh, and entertainment which are available there for free. They can share things which they care about with family and friends also for free. And they can stay in touch with people online using email, again, for free. So on to a demo. So to use FreeZone, you uh, need a ATA SIM card and an internet enabled phone. As I said, anything from a brand new uh, low cost internet phone like this, down to a five, seven year old basic GPRS kind of uh, browser phone. And FreeZone is designed to work, is optimized to work on those kinds of feature phones. Uh, we launched the product in the Philippines with Globe on Thursday last week. So we're very proud that Google and ATAR are bringing this innovation to the South African market so soon after its launch. We're the second to launch globally uh, less than three days after the, the international launch. So that's something which we're really proud of. Um, to go to FreeZone, you uh, fire up your browser and you go to ata.com front slash FreeZone. I've created a shortcut to get to it easily over here, so I'll simply click the shortcut. That will take you to the FreeZone landing page. You can see I'm running on Edge at the moment, so this is not a 3G phone. Uh, and you can see the speeds on Edge are actually quite good because these sites have been optimized to work on these kinds of phones. While you're in the free zone, you'll always be shown that the page is shown for free. Um, and you'll be notified that you're within a, 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 a zero uh, balance browsing zone. Um, so what I'd like to actually show you quickly is that this phone has zero balance on it. So I'm just going to exit and I'm going to do a quick balance check. You see that the SIM card has zero balance. And I also haven't purchased any data bundles, so this should prove that there's no trickery involved over here. Um, so yeah, zero balance SIM. Obviously it works if you have balance or if you hate it, have a da data bundle already, um, the costs of browsing the free zone will still be free. 
and for demo purposes, nice to do it in a zero balance cell. Of course, this is also useful because you can do meaningful stuff if you have indeed run out of airtime and you can't easily get to someone for airtime. Uh, okay, so now I can, if I have a Google account already, I can sign in. Or if I'm new to Google, I can sign up for free also within the free zone. So I have an account, so I'm going to sign in quickly. I'm going to use my demo login, which is... So it is my secret. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> um, okay, so once you're signed in, you'll see that you uh, are taken to the free zone homepage. You can see that I'm signed in with my Gmail address. And I can now search, access Gmail, and access Google+. Plus. So let's search for something which is close to all South Africans' hearts, and that is soccer. So very simple to do a search. And what you see here are normal Google mobile search results. Okay. And you can see there are a lot of search results here. So I can continue to search to find things which are interesting to me. Um, you can see image, some image results are already shown. You can see that the quality has been reduced again to uh, make it suitable for these kinds of phones. And as you probably are aware that search is an iterative experience. As you find something, you start refining your search and we also make suggestions what else you may be interested in. So uh, we've heard of this thing called Wikipedia, which has a lot of very useful information. So I'm actually going to search Wikipedia for soccer. And now the search results are showing Wikipedia pages relevant to soccer. Okay, and you would have noticed that one of those sites is actually a Wikipedia page about soccer in South Africa. So now I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do now is actually open the Wikipedia page. And you'll notice that this is also shown for free. So the first page of websites which are linked to from the Google search results are also shown for free. Now this is a very detailed Wikipedia page. It has been transcoded for this format of screen and you can see all the detail that you would see on your desktop browser but made suitable for a mobile phone like this. And you can see there's an incredible amount of information here. So now my curiosity is peaked. So I'm quite interested to find out a little bit more about one of these items. So I want to find out more about the SAFA Regional League. So I'm going to click that. Now because I'm going deeper into the search, into the website, now I start to exit the freezer. But unlike previously, where um, I would just start using data and just cost would be deducted from my account automatically, I now am warned before exiting the free zone that hold on a second, if you continue, you're going to incur charges. This is what the charges are. Do you accept? Would you like to go back to the free zone? Or would you like to purchase a data plan which would be optimal for you? One of the things which is great about ATA is that um, they actually allow you to buy a data plan directly from the website without having to enter funny USSD codes and the like. But as you saw, I don't have any balance on this SIM, so I'm not going to purchase the data bundle, and I'm going to go back to the free zone. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my search results, and I'm going to do an additional search here. So what I'm actually interested in is soccer in Cape Town. So again, I'm further refining my search results because I'm getting closer to the thing which I'm actually interested in. Search for that. And now you'll see very specific localized search results for Cape Town. And I'm very pleased that my favorite team, Ajax Cape Town, is up there. Um, and within the search results snippet, there is actually already some useful information. So I don't need to go into the web page. Uh, I can immediately see that there is a game coming up on Friday uh, with, uh, with Chipper United. Um, and if I go into that, load up their web page again because it's the first click this is free um, this will show their mobile website oops <laughs> I don't know why that is um, let's try it again 
I'm not sure what happened there. I'll go to a different site. Um, but you would go into the site like the Wikipedia sites and see that. So another good example, just to show the cow of what you can see just from the search results, is if I search for something specific like weather in Cape Town, you know that when you search in your desktop, you get very detailed information then about what the weather's going to be like in Cape Town. Same over here. So the search results are actually going to show me the actual weather, as well as a list of websites which are reporting on weather.